I noticed that my rose bush was blooming again, even though we're well into November, so I decided to take advantage and make another batch of rose petal jam. I started making it this year because I wanted to find a good way to use my roses, and I absolutely loved it. I went out to my garden and picked five roses that looked like they were in the best condition. You want to avoid using any roses that are older or heavily bruised. The first step is to remove the petals and add them to a large bowl of water. I do this to clean the petals because they can often contain little bits of dirt or plant matter and sometimes even little bugs and I don't want that going into the jam. I also make sure to remove any heavily bruised petals. It's important to only use organically grown roses when cooking with roses or any flowers for that matter. Buying or growing organic flowers ensures that they're free of pesticides and sprays that can be harmful if ingested. I'm using yellow roses for my jam because that's currently the only kind that I grow, but pink roses seem to be the most commonly used in cooking. I've read online that any rose will do, especially if it smells nice, but some people tend to avoid the darker red varieties because they can have a more bitter taste. Once I finish removing the petals, I make sure to wash them well in the water and then they're ready to use. I drain the rose petals and add about half a cup of the sugar as well as the juice of one lemon. I mix to combine and let the petals sit for a few minutes while I move on to the next step. While the petals are sitting, I bring the water and the rest of the sugar to boil in a pot. I begin to add the petals to the pot once the sugar has dissolved, and I bring it back to a boil and then simmer to begin cooking the jam. I'm not using pectin in this recipe, so it'll take at least 30 minutes for the jam to cook down and thicken. After 10 minutes, the jam should look like this. It's beginning to cook down a bit, but it'll still be pretty liquidy. 20 minutes in, the jam will look like this. It's starting to get a deeper yellow color and a more jammy consistency. At 30 minutes, the jam will be complete. It will have a nice golden color and a consistency similar to syrup. However, you can absolutely cook your jam for longer if you prefer. I decided to cook mine for 50 minutes overall because I wanted to have a very thick consistency, similar to honey or molasses, because I'm going to be using my jam for tea. As always, I'm going to be storing my jam in a glass mason jar. It came out to about a cup of jam, although you should have a little more if you don't cook it down as long as I did. It has a really nice amber color and it's very thick. Let your jam cool completely before covering and storing in the fridge. Rose jam goes great with toast, cookies, cheeses, over ice cream, and pretty much on anything you would use a fruit jam for. My favorite way to use this jam is for rose petal tea. First, I add two spoonfuls of jam to a glass jar, making sure to include some petals. Next, I add hot water and I stir to combine. I love drinking this tea hot, but it's also really amazing iced as well. These roses have a really light and sweet scent and flavor, so this jam goes great in all sorts of beverages. I'm planning on using it as a sweetener for some other teas that I make, but I think it would also go really great in cocktails and lemonades. 